Okay. <laughs> this is, what series is this? Nine? Series nine, yeah. Series nine. We ordered um, a case of series nine unicornos just a little while ago, two days ago. Yeah. And it's already here in the mail. Um, guess what, guys? <laughs> Doki Doki uses U-line boxes. <laughs> Um, but also, look, their tape is so amazing and happy, and we're always really, really happy when we get an entire case. Um, I have been spoiled lately with really good selection on entire cases, and so we are hoping to be spoiled again this time. I don't think this is a full case. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Because I remember when you were pregnant, we got a full case and it was 24 or something. <laughs> it's not not a full case. It's, it's, it's not a full case. But it's I not mean... a full case, but they gave it to us in the full case because we ordered other stuff, right? <gasps> Where's our sticker? Uh... Maybe it's in the box? I hope so. Alright, so this is what the case looks like. This is Unicorno Series 9. This is an absolutely gorgeous box. And um, that's the Boba Chaser that husband is really into. I really want... Where is Friska? Is she here? Yeah, Strawberry Jam. Um, super, super into her. Pretty into most of these. This thorny rose bush thing right here. Really happy. Husband obviously wants the um, Metallico looking one. And so let's take a look at all their names. Um, Rosebud, super into, um, is it Mechacorn? Uh, Mechacorn on U9, yeah. Uh, Thrasher is a fun chaser. Um, yum Yum is a fun chaser. Uh, they all look really cute. Honestly, I don't think there's a really, really bad one this time. I'm not super into Pio Pio. Um, I am not super into, uh, I'm not reading this name correctly. Madeline. Madeline uh, that much, but they could be the examples of unicornos that are poorly drawn and end up being really gorgeous in person. So let's see. I think it's really nice of them to give me this entire box when I didn't order a whole case, but also if there's no sticker in here, I retract that nice comment. There's no sticker in There's here. no sticker! We really wanted the I voted sticker. Oh damn, okay. I should have gotten a dozen. So this is where we're at. Really, really cute. Still a little peeved that we didn't get the I voted sticker. <gasps> I'm sorry, Toki Doki. I've never said anything mean about you. This is the best sticker in the world. This is... I'm legit going to buy a bottle of water just to put this lone sticker on it, guys. Like like a, one of those fancy brands, Hydro Flask. Like, I'm going to pay money to buy a Hydro Flask and put this sticker on it. Guys, look at this honey sticker. It's amazing. Um, I'm so sorry, Toki Doki. I've never, like, you guys are awesome. <laughs> That's what I get for running my mouth. Um, still not the I voted sticker, but like still. Okay. Maybe it's below one of those things. Let's start with this uh, cutie. The um, this is the Mecha Corno U9 um, special edition. It's the metallic edition, and this I believe is an online exclusive. Yes. So this is an online exclusive. Really cute box. Always a good job with their online exclusives. And we'll go ahead and it open bottom. it from the bottom. Do I want to take the tape off? Do you want to start? I don't know if there's even tape. Let me just do this. I brought an actual cutter this time. So okay, so while you're doing that, I'm going to start opening together. these. Is that what I'm doing? Yeah. You're going to out of camera shot, please. Okay. Okay. So here is our Mecca Porno. Really stunning, guys. Like legitimately a stunning item. It says U9 on it. The tail is really cool. This is a very cool item. I'm really digging this. So I'm going to leave this out of the box so that we can compare it 
as we're going along. Um, let me show you what one of the boxes look like. So this is, um, it's larger than the normal box. Let me grab one of the um, smaller regular boxes and I'll show you. I'm kind of cheating and feeding them up. Okay, so this is the, here is like the Little Terrors and this is their usual size box. And so just for comparison, this is the size. This is kind of like the series that did um, Odette. I think that's series eight, the series that just uh, came out. So it's the larger box instead of these smaller boxes. So the old unicornos came in these smaller boxes and the new unicornos, it seems like, are I think the Bambinos came in the big one too because it's um, a double. Yeah, because of the double. But like these are, so these are like a cool bigger box that has a different design on it. Um, so here is the top of this box. Gorgeous, gorgeous as always. It's a very nice uh, design. They've got some cool uh, graphics on the side of it. Always popular that they've started including in almost all of the Tokidoki things now are the bobas because they're so friggin' popular. Um, you can see everyone there. I don't, what is this, the Tokyo Sky Tower, I'm pretty sure because it's uh it's got the sky thing on top of it yeah because it's this this is the tokyo oh, sky it is, tower it, it is yeah yeah so i think a lot of people had mistaken it for the eiffel tower and i just wanted to make that correction i really really love that this unicorno has like a squirrel tail there's just look a lot of cute details i also don't see anything in particular in these designs that would require a larger box versus this one um, like, uh, Series 9 has some big headpieces. I think Mecha Corno. But Mecha Corno definitely would require a larger box. Yep. And so, let's just get started. Husband is very nicely opening these for me. Each of them have this beautiful thing. Um, these are pretty standard. They look exactly like the box. Tokidoki menus are not super amazing um, as far as like unique uh, design goes. It just looks like the box, which is fine. I almost never have scissors with me for these openings. I know what that one is. These are going to be flawlessly opened. Oh my gosh. So let me point out, it comes with plastic protective to protect, I guess, certain parts of it. This is really beautiful. So yeah, so you can see we're gonna turn. Coloring is a little different, body is absolutely the same. Um, one's Metallica, one's matte. I kind of like both of them. They're both really gorgeous. Yeah. This is just like a beautiful, yeah, I really, really love this one. Is this the Unite on that side? It does. It does, it does say yeah. Unite. I really like that it comes with this protective piece. Oh, I would get, you know, I guess this top part is a little, it's a softer plastic. So, cool. Definitely really into this one. I'm so, so into my honeybee sticker right now. The one that I very rudely accused Toki Doki of not sending to me. How rude of me. Pio Pio. The one you didn't care about. The one. <gasps> the chick is flocked. I should have guessed that because it's a chick, but it is flocked. Um, the beak is sticking out and the beak is not flocked. But kind of a pretty. This is like a cracked egg. I don't know if you can see the cracking detail. Yeah, you can. So it's like a cracked egg in the hair and inside you can see the body extends to the inside. It's actually hollowed out. So that's very, the... very cool. It's hollowed out. It's a, like a cool, eh, you know, like I'll, I'll take it. This one's cute. P.O.P.O. P.O. Really cute, simple design. Um, I don't normally like the simple designs, but this is, this is cute. I like that it's blocked. You're doing a lot of shaking there. With the... I'm trying to 
get the uh, the boba one. Guys, <gasps> Cheeky is flocked also. Cheeky is the uh, squirrel one and also flocked. Okay, for, let's take a look at this amazing tail with the like the solid paint and the gorgeousness of the design. Hearts that are autumn colored on both sides, flocked wings and flocked uh, mane. And this acorn is absolutely adorable with this little, oh, this is just really cute. Daughter's gonna love that one. Um, daughter's gonna really love this. And it's also like, I have a lot of Halloween themed toys and I definitely collect a lot of holiday themed toys for Christmas and Halloween. There are not a lot of toys that are appropriate for Thanksgiving. And this is really cute. And I'm like, I'm the kind of all out holiday celebrating type person that I want like a box full of Thanksgiving toys and I have maybe like a sack full of Thanksgiving toys. Um, so this is definitely one that I wanna add to it. Husband just pointed out um, while we were having technical difficulties that this very underwhelming to me, um, a simple clean P.O. P.O. one could be, um, an Easter toy, so yeah. I think that's kind of cool. Pio Pio also is, is not the exact, I mean, it's different spelling, but it's the exact uh, name of Pio Pio, the actual, like, Japanese duck toy, but, you know, like, cute, really, eh, whatever, underwhelming, cute, I'll keep it for Easter. Um, I wanted to point out the painting on the back is like a squirrel's back painted. That part is not flocked, this brown part right here, it's not flocked, but it's a nice detail, like the way Tokidoki always does their amazing details. This is a really beautiful, simple piece, and I say simple and beautiful, not like this one is too simple and also beautiful. All right, so this one, uh, adorable. We really, really like Cheeky, because she's so cheeky. Um, moving on. <gasps> oh, a dupe. Cheeky dupe. This one seems kind of wonky. Okay, Cheeky dupe, all right. I think they call them twins. Oh, there are, am, should I use the YouTube terminology? Is that what we do, us YouTube people? I don't know, I'm very new to YouTube. Um, I started this just sort of as a chronicle of Arctico. Let's just like, this is the picture of Arctico. You can see there's a picture of um, a skeleton a like fossil, a dinosaur skeleton like a it. dinosaur fossil on the inside. Me and husband were debating whether or not it was going to be painted or like an actual. I think it's actually um, in there. Okay, so my theory is that it's like two sheets of um, two halves of the clear unicorn are melded together, and in the center there's just a plastic image of like nah, printed image. Nah, they're not gonna of cheap it. out of that. I think there's a skeleton in there. I think I'm right. I won. <laughs> this one is really cool. Okay, this is never gonna photograph well. You really have to see this in person. It's... I mean, it's a thin skeleton. It's a really thin skeleton, but it is like an art, like an articulated skeleton. It's a 3D skeleton. It's like a 3D, It's you know, like it's just a really thick piece of confetti, but it is in there. This is really cool. The details here, like the wings have icicles that are frozen onto it. There's icicles that are coming off of even the tail. You can see crystal clear all throughout. Um, just a beautiful, beautiful piece. Okay, Arctico. I like, yeah, this one's cool. It looks like they've perfected the, um, the clear vinyl. Yeah, because the last few molds did not have vinyls that were that gorgeous, for sure. Come on, Fressa. This is Rosebud. Is her name Rosebud? Rosebud. Rosebud is flocked. Oh my goodness. Okay. Rosebud is flocked. This is a beautiful piece. This is ombre from the bottom of the tail all the way up to the mane. The bottom of the mane starts to ombre all the way to the top. There is a prick 
of darker color as if you pricked your thumb something this way or something wicked this way comes and these are all thorns that are sticking out on the outside this is stunning it's really stunning like the roses are all done beautifully every under detail is done really well this is like a stunning gorgeous piece i'm really yeah i i think this might be my favorite one there's thorns on the side. rosebud there's thorns just a really i mm, this is really i like it so much here you can see sort of how deep the thorns go they're definitely not sharp they're fun i mean i don't think these are kids toys or designer toys anyway but if you were wondering if a kid can touch them they are not sharp not as sharp as the horn on top of all of the unicornos anyway this one's beautiful okay did you touch this one i tried to fill it up but i wasn't sure fressa we want fressa we want yum yum we got a chaser it's yum yum no it's the thrasher oh my goodness that is a chaser whoa thrasher. <laughs> okay these are i just talked about how safe it was these are sharp guys they're pretty sharp thrasher is really oh, that's cool. cool look at his pierced ear okay so this piercing goes all the way through the other ear is not a piercing that goes all the way through that eye makeup is a unicorno if you can see, it's a flying unicorno. And then on this side, it's also a flying unicorno. Just a lot of studs around all the feet. Thrasher's, yeah, okay. Bit of a bit of a badass, really like Thrasher. Pointy everywhere. Even pointy on this tail part here. Just, okay, Thrasher, this is, I like Thrasher a lot. Didn't think I was going to. I'm not really a whatever it is, punk rock. Look at that hair. I'm not a punk rock or the any kind of rock I think music it's more person. Um, uh, metal. Metal. Yeah. Is that not like a type of rock or anything? But whatever. Like, this is cool. I like it. I, I have a good rock star friend, Scotty, who um, is actually a rock star. It's not the chaser I wanted. Well, you know. But it's pretty cool. A uh, chaser. Okay. What's the chances of us getting two chasers, huh? Fressa. I just want Fressa. Ooh, Madeline? Is that the name? Yeah. Oh, so same body as Victoria from series mm, something else. Um, very beautiful. Look at these. It's a thorn of Eiffel Towers, a crown of Eiffel Towers. Um pretty pretty bow pearl necklace curls very very pretty piece pearlescent on the mane I like it should definitely now we should definitely take a trip to France just oh, so that we can yeah. take pictures <laughs> of this unicorno really like it's a classy classy cute item I don't have any associations with France, so I'm not having like a major reaction to it, but it is a cute item. And I like that it comes with this piece of plastic to protect the crown and the head. They're really doing a lot better with their packaging lately, um, going with the bigger boxes and going with the protective plastic pieces. Um, Come on, yum yum. I've been a Unicorno fan now for 15 years. And I've seen a lot of really um, amazing changes. They just really do care about their people. And another duplicate. Here's another rosebud. And we are down to our last box. Another duplicate. What? Who is it? It's, uh, it's, um... Mecca? Mecca Cardo. Like... You're so sure I shouldn't open it? 100%. Okay. Well, that was really fun. Let's do a close-up of all of them. So, here is the online exclusive Mecha Corno, the Metallica version. And here we have the regular version. Absolutely adorable. Thank you so much for opening these Series 9 with us. We did not get Fressa, who we were really excited about, but we did get some really cool ones, and we're pretty happy with the ones we got. Hey, where's my chaser? 
Oh, it's over here. Husband's all about my chaser right now, so let me get that chaser. Put him up front and center. Right here. There is my chaser. This is Thrasher. Super cool. Thanks for watching with us. Hopefully we'll open some other ones and get Fressa next time. I know very few people are interested in Fressa, but Fressa is really cool, guys. And I'm hoping to get a lot of interest in Fressa. Great. All right. Thanks, guys.